Thanks for calling Uber. Today I would like to talk about a conversation uh, with customer, uh, with passenger in the car. Like for, uh, before uh, converse, conversing with the customer, I usually ask about the music first, like my previous video, because some people want the volume, some people don't want the music. And the way I ask you, do you have any preference for the radio, the AC, the way they answer tells me if they want to talk or not. If you see a customer that comes, it looks a little shaky, on a rush, or uh, goes straight to his phone or her phone, you do not have to interact with them. You just look at the mirror, their face glued to their phone, or they got they look like they have something going on, you don't have to to engage them. We don't have to talk all the time. You know, you don't have to talk all the time. And from the in initial conversation, when you ask, uh, uh, when you say something like, hey, hello, how are you? If they're too brief, one word, fine, and they don't ask you back, that's an indicator. Boom. That's the first part. But as you drive, you might see something on the road that they want to come at, and that's why they come back, and you start engaging them back. You know, usually I try to engage them because... I, I, I want to make sure the mind state of my customer is okay. You know, we heard the news, a lot of things going on. So I engage them back, but I don't over talk. Like, I try. Sometimes you get excited, it's a topic you like, but you're trying to tone it down and let the customer talk. That's why I deal with those uh, situations. So, conversation make sure when you greet your customer, uh, uh, just watch the way they answer. If it's brief and they don't ask you a question back, they don't want to talk. If they look like they're mad or crying or whatever, you don't really want to engage unless they engage you. If they have their face glued on their phone, don't engage. Some people still work with their online. Um, a lot of people work from home right now. So you never know what they're going through. <laughs> you don't know what they're doing. Don't engage if the customer is not engaging to your greetings because yeah, you should greet them at least for your own safety. You never know what type of people were driving off then. So just this. Don't engage if you don't have to. Actually, there's an option now for Uber drivers not to talk. Thanks for choosing Uber. Have a wonderful day.